All right, cutscene. Hakyo Goro. A mansion located in the netherworld where the Sagyoji clan tasked with the management of ghosts resides. The 200 Yojana Long Garden is its pride, as well as the atmosphere and cherry blossoms. But we can't see anything, right? The ma maintainer of the beautiful, majestic, and mysterious garden and the gardener of Sagyoji clan, Yomu Kompaku, was flying around the garden in a frenzy. Okay, so it changed. Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was fucking bugs. Ah, like, oh, fuck me. And holy shit, I was gonna be so pissed if that was the truth. Cause I didn't see the the intro played beforehand where I danced, so I mean I was like, oh crap, is this shit happening to me again? Okay, that's not the case. That's not the case. I was just transitioning. That's good. Whew, that should be enough. This garden is so big. One person couldn't possibly maintain it. Oh, it would be good if Lady Yuko found another helper. With a little light, with a light complaint of tiredness, she began her daily sword training after maintaining the garden. Two swords she wielded, Hakuro, Hakuroken, and. Rokokin seemed to release her tiredness with each swing. It's still quite warm. It seems I'm not able to fully clear my mind yet. Though the feeling of sweating from practicing my swordsmanship feels good. Despite being a despite being a gathering of ghosts, Hakuro Goro experiences the heat and coldness of the four seasons too. Yomo's sword continued its steady swing up and down, and a single figure watched her from behind a tree. What would you be doing, Lady Yuriko? My, you found me. Uh, very good, Ayoma. I see I have not. you have not forgotten to be aware of your surroundings. Your readiness is proud-worthy indeed. The figure of Yuriko Saigyochi, the master of Hakiroko. Holy shit, I hate seeing that. And I don't even see it right, probably. Who Yomu served emerged from the shade. She had her usual aloof expression on her face, keeping anyone from being able to tell what she was thinking. However, your complaints were unacceptable. You are, too, you are to maintain this garden precisely because it is large. Anyone else doing so would not let me rest in peace. You wouldn't You wouldn't ever rest in peace anyway. But you were listening all the while, Lady Yuko. Yes, I was. I appreciate the effort you expe expend every day, but you will not be given a helper. I was never hoping for one, and it isn't necessary either, so it is fine. It is a little strange to see you, all co see you come all the way here, though. Ah, are you here to practice your swordsmanship? Yeah, 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 bullshit. I'm afraid I have no practice fencing. Practice. I have no practice fencing sticks with me, so I must return to the mansion to retrieve one. I'm afraid you got it wrong. We can save that for next time. I came here to look for you specifically. I always return to the mansion properly after I finish my work. I'm not a lost child, you know. War is brewing. You're always treating me like a kid. And eh? eh? Where is it? Who was attacking? Ah, oh, we must hurry and cut them down at once. My children, who refuse to listen to the end, should learn how to calm down as well. Lady Yuko, a war is not anything to be calm about. Yukari has told me of an interesting game that she has thought of, so we shall be playing as well. Something that Lady Yukari thought of? That gives me a very ominous feeling. My. This time she has something that will involve all of Ginsokyo. We were punished for the spring incident, but this kind of game should garner no complaints. Uh, I think it would be natural to expect punishment for what we did during the spring incident. Anyway, Yukari took great pains to set this event up, so we sh we shall be participating as well. Make sure to use your swords to slice up our enemies. Lady Yugo, these swords were not made to cut through living flesh. The, u the unfolding of weapons under a hail of blossom. Doesn't that sound like a true warrior's battle? Oh, the details are right here, so give it a read through. And do call the band from the other side of the bar barrier to join in as well. Ah, uh, I'm getting quite hungry. I wonder what's for tea time. Yuko handed over the sealed letter she got from Yukari to Yomu. She returned to the mansion, leaving Yomu at a loss. Ah, Lady Yuko. Ah, this is almost certainly going to get weird. The scale of this is far too large, even for, even for Lady Yukari. It's more fun to play with a hundred people than to play by yourself, isn't it? That may be so, but... Ah! Just as Yumu turned her head towards the voice in shock, Yikari retreated and closed her gap at the exact same time. Oh, it feels like the two of them prepared just this, this just to make fun of me. Yomu let her shoulders droop as far as he could, then set out to run Yuko's errands. Okay.
Can I increase my level? Yes, I can. No, I cannot attend. Not Marissa. Okay, let's see. I want to attack. I want to. I want to finish this up quickly. Like the battle. I'm getting really pissed at Aki's group. Alice, Shanghai, and this one. We're gonna really need help for this. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, might as well take an item away, right? Nope, that's not who. Who's the one with the item? Huh? Strange. And let's. This is. Oh, that's Halloween. That's that's important. Come on, really? I know Alice is that. That's that. I thought this guy had the item. Whatever. Or was it? Was it back on my last save? That might have been it. Oh, whatever. Uh, close. Close. Medium, far, far, and yeah. To be able to beat Aki and her fucking team, it's getting annoying. Okay. Oh my god, really? I can't hit her? There we go. It's something better than nothing at this point. Ah, fuck. Thank goodness. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, okay, not bad. I thought it was going to be worse. Oh, nice. We took out a uh, Komachi right off the bat. That's good. That's a good start. Because that, that takes away... The one fucking hit KO! That's all I was trying to avoid. God damn it. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Alright. That was some horse shit right there. And I got stat debuff as well. I don't know what stat debuff. I kind of wish it told me. It just says down. It doesn't tell me anything. Oh, come on. That's one more down. Nice. Oh, not cool. Not cool. Okay, they're almost out of turns. That's good. That means I'll get more turns, and then that's pretty much it for this battle. Okay, as long as I can keep attacking this one. Alright, I won this one because they can't attack. So this is an easy game for me right here. And I should pretty much take this territory. Oof. What do we do now? The Reimu-led army had pressured Komachi and Aki's army to the point of no return. With the forces they had remaining, defeat was inevitable. Well, like you say, how does it go? You win some, you lose some, was it? Komachi. What? Yes, what can I do for you? Escape now before Reimu and the rest appear. What? Komachi, not expecting Aki's astounding order, was completely flabbergasted by it. The possibility of it being a joke came to her mind, but she realized that Aki was not the type to tell jokes or lies. If that is your order, I should carry it out, but why? A superior must take responsibility for her subordinates. But Lady Aki, it wasn't my fault it wasn't my fault that we lost. I am presenting you with a new duty. Join another army, anyone you can find, and stand up against Raymond once again. 
Her answer this time was even more incomprehensible than the last. Uh, well, if that's what you want, then fine. But why do that again? That would be because, hmm, they're coming. Hurry up and leave. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, um, Lady Aki. Yes? Well, about the Sanzu River and all. Is it not obvious? Take care, Lady Aki. Right at the same time that Komachi left, Raymond's army appeared in front of Aki. Here you are. Are you resigned to are you resigned to your fate? Your loss is surely guaranteed by now. It appears so, indeed. I shall accept our defeat. How honest, just as I expected of the Yama. Hmm. Where did your amazingly hardworking underling go? She is not an underling, she is my subordinate. They're the same thing. Don't tell me she's slacking off again. You have been quite rude the whole time. Perhaps you need another lecture. Oh, I'm sorry, anything but that. Well, anyway, victory is mine. I'll, I'll be returning to the shrine then. I have played, played my part. I should now observe from within. Has she noticed? Has she realized? Reimu, all beings that are alive cannot live alone. Aki stood as a single purple cherry blossom fell, asking questions in her heart that no one could answer. Okay, we got Aki. That's good. Except we're going to lose her once we die. So there's no fucking point for that. So it doesn't really matter, does it? All right, let's get our cutscene with her. Can I speak with you for a second? I've been waiting for you, Reimu. Huh? Reimu had originally came back here to convince Aki to serve under her army, but the sense of seriousness and dignity that emanated from her made Reimu feel over... Rod? Huh. Hey, what's with the atmosphere here? And you were waiting for me? Let me ask you a question, Reimu Hakare. What have you gained from this game that Yukari Yakumo proposed? What have I gained? That's not a question I can answer when it's thrown at me out of the blue. Then I should change my question. Why did you come here? Well, I wanted you to become our ally. And what does that mean to you? Uh, that means I want your power to. Jeez, I didn't come here to play 20 questions. Your words bring no forth no sense of importance or emergent feelings. I shall ask again, what are allies to you? Allies, I'm still not sure how to answer that. I guess an ally is just someone who I fight alongside. Aki's stern face grew more and more grim. Was she disappointed with Raymond's answer or perhaps remembering her behavior before? Of course Raymond had no clue herself. What's with that scary face? It seems you still need more time. What are you going on about now? Very well, I shall join you on your so-called ally. From here on, I shall view the future by your side. Huh. Well, if that means you're joining up, then that's fine, I suppose. Is something the matter? Did you not come to persuade me to join in the first place? Well, I did, but ugh, this is annoying to think about. Whatever, let's just work well together. Did she not agree to it, or did she not understand it? Whatever the case was, the disheveled Reimu then went back. Aki watched her disappear into the fog with sadness in her eyes. Ah, oh, Hakure Shrine Maiden's duties. Perhaps she is stronger at them than she should be. I don't know how I get- I, I don't know. I don't get it. That would not do, Reimu. Aki's word aimed at no one in particular was simply swallowed up by the gusting winds. 